If you've ever wanted to analyze your DNA or someone else's DNA or a steak's DNA but didn't really have the resources to do it or the time to wait for 23andMe, there is a new crowdfunded product that may just make things a lot easier for you. Let's take a look. Things like a centrifuge, a PCR machine, gel electrophoresis, all those bits of kit individually are very expensive. So it's really great that a device has come along where you can get everything in one small package, which is really simple for the kids to use. Mental Lab started with a simple vision that laboratory tools would be accessible for students, teachers, field researchers, citizen scientists and everybody else who wants to learn about genetics and to get involved in biology. We've been beta testing Mental Lab for the past six months and we've made a ton of improvements to ensure that Mental Lab is robust, professional and easy to use. So you would just collect some sample of DNA, let's say a hair, saliva, tissue, um, and then put it into the centrifuge for DNA extraction. And then a PCR machine on the right-hand side would copy the genes and a gel unit would allow you to visualize the DNA and analyze it after that. And it eh, potentially has a lot of uses. I mean, you could analyze yourself. What would you analyze? Um, I don't even think I would use it, man. Never? Yeah, there's nothing really I really want to know about my DNA. I want to know everything. Well, well okay, what, what? Hey, remember when Ikea had that horse meatball problem because mm -hmm. they found horse DNA in the meatballs? And I'm just saying, if those are horse meatballs, I like horse meatballs. Anyway, <laughs> um, they did that by examining the DNA of the meat. So, and they found that's not pork and beef, mm -hmm. that's, that's horse. You could analyze your food, for yeah. sure, and figure out what's in it. Um, a, I've heard this is good for maybe home brewers to analyze. Yeah. Uh, you can analyze yourself. I don't know if I would want to know these things, but mm. maybe I would. Usually curiosity gets the best of me, and then the depression sinks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I might want to you know, analyze my hair, see what's going on with me. Uh, <laughs> maybe I have some sweet-ass genes, and maybe I don't. The uh, cool thing about this is that um, it's it's... I like the idea that it's so cheap and so easy to procure that it can become like a learning device, mm -hmm. right? Like that, I think someone in the article said it was seven hundred something dollars to to get one of these and to be able to put that into the hands of students and like get kids excited about science from a very early I age. I think that's rad that. as hell. Get right? that in a kid's hands. I mean, with their imagination and mm -hmm. their uh, level to absorb things and you know maybe develop passions for things early on. That'd be mm -hmm. great. There's there's a lot of uses for it. Uh, you would, could also potentially identify poisonous versus non-poisonous types of mushrooms and other foods. So hey, mm. that's useful. That's pragmatic, right? Yeah. The the fact that it fits into a backpack is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Like just uh, just like insanely portable, insanely easy to use. But then again, I assume and don't don't take my word for this. I'm not uh, I'm not a scientist. But what? Um, it's, oof. Was that what I was billed as? It says master scientist. But Gotta go ahead. Go. Sorry. Uh. Stop doing that. <laughs> um, no, it's. Uh, I mean, you you gotta do like you know collecting DNA and analyzing it are two two very different things. You know, mm -hmm. like being able to visualize it on like a gel electrophoresis thing is is a lot different from like being able to actually like learn shit about it. So it's it's a it's a good first start and it's insanely portable, but. Um, I, th I think you got to be mindful of like the limitations on something like this, mm -hmm. which I don't ne necessarily know about, but um, I assume that it isn't as easy as it's being built. Um, probably not. I think DNA analysis is kind of a complicated uh, subject and probably not too easy to master. Uh, I don't know what the UI is like for this, but I, I assume it's somewhat easy, but like you said, if it is going to be easy, there will be uh, more limitations than you might find in a different lab. I think it would be a great tool for just analyzing my immediate and surrounding worlds. Sure. Um, the, the biological structure of things, what goes into things. Um, I would love to get this in the hand of a child, a responsible child, because this is, I mean, it's pretty inexpensive for what it is. It's just mm -hmm. under $800 right now. Uh, I think that's the crowdsourcing price that would may go up in time, much like the Oculus did. I think it's a it's it's a cool little DIY genetics experiment, yeah, and let's it's, do it. it's not the be all end all. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would definitely get this for sure, and just mess around with it and probably break it. Uh, audience, would you what would you analyze if you could analyze the DNA of anything? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.